Hey there folks, I'm Sirius JG and welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Last time we uh, won a race, a kart race, which means something a little different now, or then, than it does now. This was not like the kart series, we did not have Derek Daly on commentary. But speaking of Derek Daly, we are going to be meeting an Irish fella here in this video. Let's travel to a waypoint and meet our next dear friend, the last member of our coalition to destroy Bill Williamson, Bill Williamson mania that we haven't met. The collection of like weird allies Marston will will use for this quest, uh, I believe Irish is the last one that we haven't met yet. So let's go ahead and meet him now. And I need to be saying more. Okay. This is a barn. I'm curious what the... At the risk of losing the mission, if it's just the wrong amount of time passes, I'm curious whether this ever homemade... D -class. This is just a barn. Got an advertising paint on the side. I was trying to figure out what kind of building it is. It's just a barn. Let's get over there before that icon disappears. A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Oh, good water boy. Yes, boy. Oh, you missed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick Cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. Oh, great. Sea words. Going to rip you off. <laughs> I have you know to put a warning about this. Yes, keep on talking there, Irish. I was pretty sure that word got used in this game. I forgot it came this early. <laughs> What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. Oh, this don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Sing-song voice. Look here, this petty bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. <laughs> <French> <laughs> <cunt> <laughs> is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Something like that. Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You reckon that fool Irish is worth dying for? Oh. There we go. I suppose I could have tried to lasso Mr. them, Nigel but. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those. But actually, that guy was all you were showing different. Untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Shouldn't I loot them guys that just killed? I need to save on a different slot. I'm gonna have to oh, find yeah, out whether it was possible to. Uh, because i got to find out if it was possible to spare them. And I want to loot them. Hold on a second, everybody. Uh, excuse me? You saved your life. This is turning into a hell of a day! Company Irish. Man, these guys ride full mel. What's your name, friend? John. Who's your daddy? John Marston. Choke of luck, you came along. Do you go by I Sean instead of John by any chance? <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? The they was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Oh, all Never the time. trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellas who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The Thieving Bastards are holding up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. Wait, They'll what? be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. And, uh, Listen, about fella, what? I what? didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with fella. here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. 
Now, if you don't mind, if I if I come after you, Irish, are you gonna like yeah. sick some other nationalities on me? Yeah, I'd, I'd... you can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the rage. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. He seems reliable. Well. I'm going to the camp game. Shut up. So, it didn't take long for Irish to get us in trouble. Um, Winchester repeater. Repeater carbine. I believe the Winchester repeater was a superior weapon. And I have a feeling we're going to need it. Yeah. I don't think we get to just go in there. Welcome here, mister. Move along. Are you deaf or playing dumb? Get the hell out of here. God damn it. So they're bandits. Well, that makes me feel a little better that I started shooting. Didn't really establish that before I started attacking, but... Just kind of told me they didn't want me here. It's you or me, friend. And it ain't going to be me. And if it is, I'll just continue. Alright, so, uh, that wasn't too difficult. Irish did nothing to help us. That will be a repeating theme with his character. I do like the way that John Marston is, like, insanely hostile towards Irish immediately upon meeting him. Oh, shoots the guy in the yacht house, huh? I'm not the one to test. You probably should have shot me. Instead of saying, I'm not the one to test. Why did he get to loot his corpse? It's not here. That lion sack of shit. What you got on you, friend? Oh, just about maxed out my honor. Um... And I found moonshine. Found a lovely bed that I'm not allowed to sleep on. And we completed a mission for Irish, who just fucking... is, as we said, a lying sack of shit. Like we got nothing for it. Except for some honor. Which seems a bit odd, because we just came in here and killed a bunch of guys. Now, apparently they weren't good men, but still. Did you disappear at the top of a cliff? Don't run off the fucking cliff. Okay, good. He's not running off the cliff. Oh, he is running off the cliff. But he sur that was a little uh, strange. That was that was beyond strange right there. Uh, let's set up camp if it'll let us set up camp here. So I found that character of Irish kind of amusing, but um, I remembered finding him amusing. I remembered being amused at how like insanely angry John Marston seems to be with him at all times, but <clears throat> it's not a very good start. Maybe, maybe Irish deserved the hatred John Marston had for him better than I remembered. There's a stranger near Coot's Chapel, which we can come... Uh, let's, uh, let's do another mission for Irish. Because I feel like after the results of this mission, 
Uh, Marston would want to get him. Oh, but I was going to read up. Man, I, damn, I saved over the wrong slot. I was going to read up on whether it was possible to spare the Frenchman and the Welshman. Well, I sure hope it's not a big deal to spare them now, because I saved over that slot. They're pretty much dead, unless I want to replay a whole bunch of missions. I've been saving on the same slot for this entire uh, recording session here. So Irish shellac shellacson at Benedict's point. Benedict's point, rather. How do you do? Hey, what up, gangster? So you're not allowed to make fun of certainly not uh, you know black characters, Native American characters, or anything like that. But that, that's basically why they threw an Irish. They can make fun of the Irish all day long. I was dreaming about corsets, you motherfucker. I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. No, I never promised that. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. That ain't even whiskey. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that guy? Just like a newborn baby is violently <laughs> angry. Let's do that. So there you go, folks. So you... Not a fella to give up easily, are you? That's the minority you're allowed to make fun of, I guess. I think we might want to give up on Irish being somehow helpful to us. Yeah. I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. Let me get a little farther into my song, would you? Somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It works like that. That's great. Let's have a round of whiskey me in the jar. Were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus. You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? There's mad because I, I used to see word. I've been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose. Or sell it. I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and West. Well, you don't like Gaelic cooking. football? You can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. That might I be saved true. your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Too well, it wasn't there. Bastards. I was fucking with you. Whoa! Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. <laughs> He's not just just not gonna be that useful to us, I think. 
I like to lay the wild rover. No, never. The entrance is no plain more. to see, and there's a shaft them bastards use to haul out heavy ore. Killing we, shaft. I mean, you can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me signs. But you've never been in a mine. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. Kill that bastard! What the heck did it get? I don't understand how dead I was. Because it fired off the first shot without me hitting a button, and then I couldn't fire the second time at all. I think I was supposed to move the crosshair over there without hitting the button. Let's go to the treasure hunter outfit. That's some. It will allow you to be treated like one of their gang at Gap Tooth Ridge. Let me get my trusty uh, repeater back out. Okay, that was the wrong button. I'm trying to reload. Still not sure what button that is. Oh, well, somebody's shooting at me. set himself on fire and is now breathing his last cane styles. I think so, Mr. Marston. I wouldn't be that forgiving if I were these guys, I mean. I don't have a revolver in this film. I do prefer the rifle. I usually like fighting from a distance in this game. I might want to switch to a revolver just because I, uh... Wasting all this ammo. But that's a... <laughs> what kind of logic is that? Who else is going to show up trying to kill me before this is all over? Remember, folks, this is all in the name of uh, putting things right in his past. He's uh, so this is going to be kind of Don't let him get to the gun. reaction time game as I creep down and, and they become shootable. So 
sorry about this, partner. You seem like a real good guy. I think I saw him moving around. So he shot me once. I hear more of them, even though there's no more red dots on my... Uh... Oh, there's dynamite, too. You can be blowing that up to kill them, I believe. Americans call it. We call it a, f a corn. So they blocked off the core. Follow me. What are you waiting on? Son of a bitch! I'm smart. Unless it turns out I need that TNT later, which I, is possible, I suppose. Revolver Ocelot Ammo. That's smart. I've seen guys with rifles because I figured. Figure they'll help me restore my rifles, and then it turns out they got shotguns. Okay, so I looted him for shotgun. I had a shotgun ammo with him, and then I looted him for more. So that, I guess, worked. This is being more involved than I anticipated. Oh fuck! some point Ain't no need to die, friend. that was interesting he just came kind of falling figured I was gonna have to climb up a ladder to a higher level so that didn't set up any TNT dynamite Got a lot of guys with revolvers down here. That's what they call me. Revolver. Yeah, creep along. I don't know any Irish songs about mining. I do know that when Irish eyes are smiling, I do not know the next line of the song. Thought I did. Sorry. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are cold. Danny Glenn, Danny Glenn, and now these guys are trying to kill me. Tis you must go and I must die. Oh, wait, no. That doesn't sound that good. Yeah, they give you lots of places where you can shoot TNT if you know where it is. I'll wait patiently, friend. I just killed Wilhelm. That's gotta be it, right? Just a little something for my trouble. Take that message to my widow. Just a little something for my troubles. Seriously, how many of you guys are gonna threaten me? I've killed like dozen of you at this point. Every single one of you is like, yeah, you're, you're doomed, buddy. None of you seem concerned about the rate at which I'm killing you guys. Biggest concern now is that I've been at this for so long and I'm not going to get a good new uh, save point. I don't want somebody to hit some dynamite that's near me. Hey, I got to back up. I could blow up that lamp or something. 
I do this for ire. Got him yet. I've got to. I've got to stay here and let my uh, Krogan healing powers uh, get me right. You want to stop doing that? Hey. I see some TNT. There you go. Man, I really need to train up my Krogan healing powers. My Krogan Battle Master rating is high enough for me to survive some bullet shots. But that was too close. What can I say, partner? I just blew your head clean off. Well, apparently there's still more of them because I'm still hearing them talk. Video. I kind of wanted to call it a video uh, and finish this mission up. We've got a little bit more time, not much. We might be able to finish this off. I'm having a good time playing the game, but I've kind of hit the point where I need to consider calling it a session. Man, you took your time. I gave you a lot of time. I really kind of deserved to fail for the amount of time I was standing out in your... Uh, where you could shoot. I'm sure somebody with more skill, like, I, I go back and watch Lethal's play through. I'm sure he did way better at this mission, possibly using uh, Red Eye properly to just kill four dudes at once, but I'm not getting game over. That's my main thing. Dabo? Dabo? I guess it's a good thing I didn't call it a video right then because uh, it looks like uh, my objective has changed. Forgive me, friend. And unless I got like a big involved escape on the minecart, which is a possibility, I suppose, um, should be good to call it a video. I mean, to finish this mission. Oh, credit. I just have to get close to it then automatically. I wonder if I get to use it here. I have no idea whether this is going to be a whole video's worth of nonsense or if I should be just, I just need to do it once and, then, and the mission's over, but. I guess it really depends on what's ahead of me in this direction. Because they had blocked all this off, but if I could somehow blast it open. slowed things down a bit, but... Oh, great. I'm going to have to fight. I was afraid of that, too. Need to take it the other way. I don't get to... I don't get to take the shortcut. Well, I killed everyone on the way. This should be easy, right? Although they told me how to fire a gun. So that might be a thing. In theory, I suppose you could get here without killing everyone. Run by them. That doesn't seem like it would have been a very wise approach. <laughs> Suddenly, Liquid Snake pops. It's like driving next to us. It's not over yet, John Marston! It's not over yet. Oh, oh, oh! 
because you keep shooting. Fox! There was no mine carts, it was just driving along. Okay, so that was. There, there were no enemies. It's just. It's just a fun little thing where you push a cart. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your cart being hauled up this lift. I'm working Slow with him! I'll engage the gears. I'm totally on the side of the gap roof, two, three, guys. Actually, John Morrison, I don't like the way you've been treating me. I'm going to get you up to near the top of the shaft and cut this and let you fall to your death. I don't like the way you looked at me when I used the C word. It's just a word. It doesn't have any power unless you allow it to. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? Happiness is a warm gun. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! Ah, now we're probably going to have to fight dudes. Thinking we could fight them while pushing the minecart. We probably don't have to. Stop doing that! You see, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I could do this real slow and careful, but this seems like it's more fun. There must be some reason they put this mechanic in the game. I don't think there's any other missions that involve stealing things from a minecart. Let's go. Because all mom is up. Oh, we ride. Are we heading to the outhouse or? Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Yeah, you might want to pull it down or something, like tie it down, or maybe I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. Well, whatever, Marston, you'd know better than I would, right? I do believe that does it for Irish missions until we finish this chapter, but I could be entirely wrong. He gets us the machine gun. And uh, quite a few characters, actually, that we've met so far are part of our, like, action-adventure mission where we actually attack the fort. I'm looking forward to that, but we're not quite there yet. Let's get a little farther from the settlement, which may or may not be considered a gang hideout. No, Desert Sage, damn it, no. Perfect, I love it. Now that I've killed dozens of men, I'm ready for some desert sage flowers. Maybe I'm magically now far enough away that I can use a campsite. Maybe that couple of feet was the difference. Yeah, it was. What do you know? Funny man quest failed? I'm going to save on a different slot because I don't know what that means or why that would happen. I don't like the idea of redoing this whole mission just for the funny man quest, but um, I guess I'll check on that. Oh, boy. I really don't want to redo that mission. That was a fairly long mission, but it was kind of fun. So I'll have to see what was going on with the funny man uh, and like why that one was apparently time sensitive and whether it will respawn or maybe I'll just read about it find out that I don't care and give you guys a verbal description I also need to find out if there was a way to, to save the Frenchman and the Welshman I'm thinking if you hog tie them they probably just never appear in the story again anyway so no big deal anyway folks funny man so that guy from Manhattan is already dead I kind of figured when we met him and he was carrying on the way he was that he was dead meat but I didn't think that we would be responsible for babysitting him on a timed uh, way. But I guess we'll find out later. I'm the Studio CG. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.